I'm kind of at the uh, end of my rope today because uh, one of my family members just came out of uh, radiation for a month and as many of you know I'm a cancer survivor too and it was this family member's second surgery and none of my family orders are unfair I'm living in veterans housing and uh, but I thought I would do this story and it's kind of the culmination of the um, the budget shutdown and I am going to refer to an incomplete article at infowars.com um, the budget government shutdown is the crisis that the government is using for martial law um, the 17th which is next weekend uh, the government will go into default unless they pass a bill to pay the deficit and uh, what Rand Paul is proposing is the bill to pay the first uh, tax collection of each month would go directly to the banks to pay the national deficit and they're talking about of course conceding to Obama and raising the national that limit which they've been doing they're just Congress has refused the last five years to make a budget there's a video up here I'm gonna add the link called the GOP's little change they hoped you would notice and it's just amendment to, uh, am amendment to the Constitution for them to open the government and so they've passed a bylaw to to make sure they can't open the government and trying to use parliamentary rule to not even discuss it um, what Obama has con has offered and I feel like all three branches are at default this time as Obama's offered to defund Medicare and Social Security in order to pay to balance the budget and of course they wouldn't cut the the war budget at all is the one they should cut because we're in the 130 some bases all over the world and we're having wars for profit in the Middle East which is the main problem of what's going on I've been talking about and Mark Dice never talks about it he always blames the Catholic Church but um, every time we bomb a country then then the military industrial complex all these little companies get money to build bombs and tanks and planes and stuff so they're gonna keep that going it looks like unless things change and they're talking about eliminating Social Security and Medicare which I'm glad my family member that was working there left I think more and more it's become an evil thing and they should cut the military industrial complex or possibly both there's a lot of people on Medicaid and Social Security that are on drugs and you're not allowed to get it for drugs but you can get it for a secondary um, issue like if you've got lung cancer or AIDS or something you can get it if you're drug and then somebody's got to manage your money for you so it's looking to me like well I talked about before the um, the blimps and they've already mapped Baltimore to bomb the shit probably out of for the government to bomb the shit out of the neighborhoods that would probably ride if they cut the funding Let's see if I get the Navy blimp maps Baltimore so if if the country goes into default on the 17th Social Security and and um, Medicare checks will stop last week the government got workers got paid but they only got half a paycheck the government workers get paid every other week and they only got half a paycheck last week and then this week they'll get no paycheck at all and I expect that's when the riots will start I mean really in my opinion nobody's owed a check and a lot of people get to security and that's seven hundred dollars a month then they get food stamp cards to buy food stamps and housing checks to buy housing they really need seven hundred dollars a month in my opinion so I mean there's a lot of fraud going on with all that and but the MRAPs and everything and the ammo purchases there's been a lot of shady crap going on with the fake patriot media but I do believe that um, this blimp and the requisition forms for the ammo
is for the martial law event that they're probably that the government's probably cl planning for as early as next weekend and if they can they'll probably prolong it and if they don't they'll have an agreement to to um shut shut down the government and or keep it going and defund medicare so that's just a heads up like i said i really been through the ringer today uh i had a good faith contract with some family members to get the family affairs in order and of course i got burned and i would suggest these days that nobody work with a good faith contract because I've been burned so many times on them. And, but that's it.